Hello everyone, my name is Anton Pelcher. I'm an engineer and I've been building fish farms for more than 10 years. Today we're going to talk about what equipment and accessories are required at a RAS fish farm. What are the accessories at a fish farm? Probably everyone knows, that is, handy accessories and tools you need in order to successfully operate your fish farm. Be sure to watch this video to the end, because you will understand what you have to buy and have to use in order to successfully handle the fish and to successfully operate your farm. So, let's go! Let's start with the most trivial and obvious thing, which is a net. What are nets used for? I will be kept an obvious to explain that they are used in order to catch fish from the tanks. And you need a whole set of nets, because different types of nets are used for frying lava. These are nets with a fine mesh. For grout fish, a completely different types of nets is used. Well, and of course, if you have multiply departments at your farm, then each of them requires a different set of nets, so that you don't cross different equipment between various farm blocks. It's needed from a safety point of view. As far as nets are concerned, using the same nets without separating them between the farm blocks is actually a big problem at many farms. Also, they break quite often, so try to buy the most reliable ones. And if you can't find them on sale, it's better to weld them yourself. By the way, I have seen a huge number of nets, which are almost welded on steel bars, and this was caused by the fact that purchased nets often broke down. So if you buy, it's better to select the most expensive, the most reliable. You will not regret for sure. The next indispensable accessory is a set of scales weights. You need scales and not just one set. There are floor scales. There are scales for weighing grout fish. There are small scales like kitchen ones. In order to weigh the fry and the reagents that you need to add the water, in case you start a biofilter to eat fish or something else. Next, manual fish sorter. Or otherwise it's called grater. At any rest farm, sooner or later you need to sort the fish. You need to catch fish and sort them by size. So for such purposes, a manual sorter is used at small-scale farms, which looks like a simple box. Rollers are at the bottom of the box. You set the distance between these rollers. And in fact, the smaller fish fall through and the larger fish remain. Its operation principle is quite simple. In at large scale industrial farms, an automatic type fish sorter is used. This is probably not even a piece of equipment, but more or less serious technological equipment. Next is salt. Salt is mustard any farm. First, it's used in case of nitrate peaks. That is, if you have a nitrate spike in the system, add salt immediately so that nitrites don't kill your fish. And secondly, salt is used to cure fish. It's the most universal, most harmless reagent that you can use to treat your fish. pH reagents. Let's imagine you have a new res system and you start it. Typically, in lightly loaded systems, pH of the water tends to increase. And as water pH increases, the toxicity of ammonia increases as well. So, if your water pH tends to grow to the value of 8 or more, you need to lower it as soon as possible. How do you do that? Typically with acid. So, have some stock of acid. As a rule, it's a 10% solution of sulfuric or hydrochloric acid, which in the case of pH increasing above the critical maximum, you can dose in the system and thus bring the pH value back down. Well, and there are also reagents to increase water pH, in case pH level tends to fall. And generally, this happens in highly loaded systems, where there is a lot of organic matter, a lot of acidification processes. And in case you can't solve this problem just with adding makeup water to the system, you need to increase the pH with the help of either lime or with soda. Next. Manual Laboratory for Analyzing Water Parameters Of course, you need to constantly monitor what is happening to the water in your air system. Therefore, you need to have at least a basic set of instruments. What are they? Thermooximeter, which is a device that measures oxygen dissolved in the water, pH meter, and set of calorimetric tests, which you can measure the nitrogen group with, I mean ammonia nitrite nitrate. In fact, this is the minimum basic kit you need to measure water parameters on your farm. A fishing net. 
Well, in the case you have more or less large fish tanks, you need to somehow concentrate the fish in one place. A biologist climbs into the tanks with a fishing net. Net concentrates fish in a certain place, at a certain point of a fish tank, and from there is already scooped out with a small net. This is the case when you need to catch all the fish from the tank. Also, you will need nets for covering fish tanks. The fact is that fish jump out of the tanks rather often, and it's not uncommon when you come to the farm in the morning and you have several fish just lying on the floor. To avoid losing some of your fish so stupidly, I recommend just covering the tanks with special nets, especially if you have big fish that can jump. This is regular netting that you can buy at any fishing or hardware store. You just cover the tank, that way your fish won't jump out. Then a set of containers. As you will definitely need some plastic containers and reservoirs for some reagents for weighing drought fish, for moving fish. That is, you definitely need a set of plastic containers of different volumes, ranging from 10 liters to 200 to 300 liters. Card for moving the fish. In order to move live fish from one location at the farm to another, or to move the fish out of the farm, you usually need a tank filled with water and a cart to move the tank. It's recommended to have a cart so that you can move the fish between the tanks and between the different departments of the system. And one last thing, it's a purging tank. Who's in the topic, who watches our channel, knows that fish must be kept for 5-7 to seven days in clean water without feeding before it's sold. You can't use water from your rest system for purging fish. It's a different, absolutely clean and pure water. So you put the fish there, turn on makeup water, and your fish stays for about a week without feeding in this separate tank. Therefore, it's also necessary to have a purgeon at your fish farm. Well, that's probably it. If it was useful to you, if you liked this video, press the like button, subscribe to my channel. It's Anton Pelcher and my channel on how to grow fish and make good money on it. Bye!